What is up Sneak Geeks? It's your boy Sneaker Life and today Sprayground actually sent me a couple items from their fall collection that I really wanted to show you guys. I'm basically going to do kind of what's in my bag. You know I love my backpacks. I'm always wearing a backpack everywhere I go. One of the biggest things that I noticed when I was at SneakerCon in New York that a lot of y'all had Sprayground backpacks on. I was like wow. I truly did not know this brand was that big. And I mean, a lot of people noticed that I actually had this. This was my first spray round backpack and I love it because it's just so unique. You know, we have the 3D, uh, what would you call these spikes in the back and it's just super dope. I really like the bags that they make. And the fact that they actually reached out to me to check out one of the bags and kind of give you guys a look in the collection is super dope. So let's get into it. Now I'm sure the question that comes to mind, at least for me was, how does this bag even light up? You know, it, it's crazy. Like I thought it was simple. Maybe we had like a little solar panel around here. Uh, maybe it was just very simple, but truly it's, it's kind of not, it actually requires batteries. So first and foremost, let me show you guys how to exactly turn this thing on. Um, it actually is a little switch on the back. So whenever you're walking around, you know, what's up girl? Boom, you hit them with the flashing lights flashing lights and then it turns right off as you guys can see that but there's actually a few panels on the inside of the pockets that require batteries which to me in a sense is kind of annoying but you know with a backpack like this it's not something that I feel like you're going to use every single day it's just one of those on occasion backpacks something you're going to flex on but here is actually the battery pack that it comes in you can turn it on or off and you actually have to unscrew it and i believe it takes uh double a batteries um i think it's like two or three and that's only for one of these it's for the top you got another pack down here i'm gonna say this is probably the only design flaw but i mean how else do you expect it to be powered but I'm just saying like, it's, it's a little bit annoying that you gotta do that, especially if the batteries die. But I haven't had any problems. I've had this bag for quite some time, finally doing a video on it, just to kind of test out the battery life and it, it, it runs very well. But like I said, this is a Back to the Future inspired. Like, as you can tell, just the, the paint drips, the black. Uh, I would like to see like the platinum color on this. I think that would look super fresh. But as far as it is, man, it's just the lighting. You know, uh, this is a very limited edition backpack and retail for it is $120. So if you got the money, the links will be down below in the description. Otherwise, you should definitely go check out their other stuff. I did pick up a few more things that are inside the bag that I'm going to show you guys right now. Um, so it is fall time, winter time. I love these hats, man. This is actually an aviator hat. Um, I'll kind of show you guys what it looks like on, but it is the camo fur, super warm, and I like it. And you can actually pick this up for $40. And last but not least, I ended up picking up some gloves. You know, we got to keep them warm. It's really cold out here in Colorado right now. And these are actually the license to carry. You guys know I've been doing a lot of gun content recently. Uh, I don't know. This is the kind of pistol I want. I actually want this. And the... Uh, I believe it's the Magnum that you can pick up in the gold. I don't know, but yeah, I, I want to get a gold pistol, you know. It's a little, it's a little flashy, but I don't know. It's just something I like. One thing about these gloves is they're, they're pretty warm. They're not going to help you out for like a serious cold day. You know, those chilly fall days, these are perfect for, and they, they're kind of like silky, very smooth. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. How many of you guys have purchased from Sprayground? What do you think about the different designs? Make sure to go check out the website and tell me what you think. I do think they have a lot of creative backpacks and bags and i'm really happy that they reached out to me just because i have done business with them before so let me know what you guys think down below in the comments this is your boy sneaker life i will see you in the next one run it